The final thing that I wanted to cover was rev match downshifting. So this is an opposition to just slowly releasing the clutch when you downshift. Essentially, to get good at downshifting and rev matching, you need to look at your RPMs within each respective gear. So say, for example, we're in second gear going 20 miles an hour and we're at 2,000 RPMs. This is important to remember for when you're attempting to downshift. So if we go to third gear now and we decide to rev match, we know that we're going to have to give the car about 2,000 RPMs and a throttle blip while you have the clutch down in order to get a clean rev match. So let's do that. That was all right. We'll give it a second shot. That wasn't my best rev match. Once again, we're going to give it a second shot. So we're going to go from third gear to second. We're going to clutch in, go to second, flip the throttle, and you get a smooth transition like that. That's how you rev match. It's just remembering which RPM is optimal for each gear. Now we're going to try a fourth to third downshift. So the RPMs are a little bit different because the gearing is obviously different. So the 